everyone, welcome back to Life in Room 27. I am Miss Robinson and I'm back today with another math tutorial video for everyone. Uh, today's video should be pretty short. The concept of today's lesson is not too difficult, but there is a common mistake that I know a lot of students have made in the past and I just want to point that out using one example. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about how we can order and compare decimals using their place value position. And um, as long as you know how to recognize when a number is five or higher, and four and below you should be just fine so the main focus of this video is just to show you that common error so that you can avoid making it when you complete your homework or when you do uh, problems like this I should say so I'm gonna set up a whiteboard with a quick example and then we'll be all done I'll see you in a second okay so this example is gonna be pretty short and sweet because I just want to point out a common error that I've seen over the years with students and I want to show it to you so that you can avoid making the same mistake so what we're doing in today's lesson is making sure that we know how to use our place value positions to either compare decimals and decide if one is greater than the other or put decimals um, in order if we are given more than one decimal how would we or more than two decimals I should say how would we order those so um, the two mistakes that I've seen students make in the past is the first one is they will read these numbers as five and four tenths which is correct and great and they'll read this one as five and two hundred and forty three thousandths and that's correct and that's great but then they'll say to themselves oh this goes up to the thousandths place so this must this number or this decimal must be greater than this one because I heard the word thousand in that decimal. Now, what you need to make sure you remember is I didn't say the word thousand. This is thousandth. This goes up to the thousandths place. And we've learned in previous lessons that thousandths are actually very, very small. Okay, we're not dealing with thousand, whole number thousand. We're dealing with thousandths. So that's the first mistake that I know students have made. The second mistake is students will look and say, well, this one has more digits. This decimal has more digits than that one. So therefore, this one must be the greater value digit. That's also incorrect. It's not going to be the number of digits in a decimal that determines whether it's greater than another one. What is going to matter is the value of the digits in those decimal places or in those decimal points, I should say. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare 5 and 4 tenths to 5 and 243 thousandths so that I can show you how you know for sure that 5 and 4 tenths is actually the bigger of the two. So first you want to line up your decimals by their decimal point. So here's my decimal there. There it is there. And then you want to look at each digit and each place value position one at a time. And you're going to ask yourself, is one of the numbers greater than the other or are they equal so i'm going to start in the ones place because you're always going to start at the left so you're going to go all the way to the left you're going to start with the first digit that you see here has this uh, decimal has a five this one also has a five so as of right now these two decimals are equal so i'm going to go to the next place value position which is the tenths place there's a four in this decimal in that place value position but there's a two in this decimal in that place value position and right away that tells me then as a fifth grader I should recognize that four is greater than two and therefore that makes this decimal five and four tenths greater than five and two hundred and forty three thousandths okay and I could stop right there there's nothing else for me to do because this has no more digits left and this place value position has already determined that five and four tenths is the greater decimal of the two so i would be done now once you understand how to do that correctly once you know how to line up your decimals compare each digit and each place value position then if they ask you to order a group of decimals from greatest to least or least to greatest, you'd be able to do that with no problem as long as you took your time and compared each digit in each place value position. Just be very careful because I know the book does like to give several examples like this because they are trying to check to see, do you know that it's not the number of digits that matters, but it's really the value. So that's really all I wanted to show you with today's lesson. Like I said, it was going to be short and sweet. So just keep that in mind as you're working on your problems tonight or as you're preparing for a quiz or a test or whatever the case may be. I will be right back with a few closing words. 
Okay, so I hope that example that I showed you made sense. So basically what you wanna make sure of is that first when you're comparing decimals, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna line up your decimals by the decimal point and you're gonna go one digit at a time comparing each digit to see if they are equal to each other or if one is greater than the other or if one is less than the other. The big misconception that I talked about in the intro is that a lot of times students assume that if a number has more digits than the other, then that makes that number larger and that is just simply not true. It doesn't matter how many digits are in a number, what matters is the value of each of those digits in that particular number. So just always keep that in mind when you're ordering your decimals or putting them in order, whether you're putting them in order from greatest to least or least to greatest. So if you keep those things in mind and you're just really careful about your work, you should be just fine. So I hope this video and that example was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.